A very good morning to all of you, my dear children. In today's session, let's learn in detail the usage of has and have. Okay. So before we move on to today's topic, let's have a short recap on the usage of am, is, and are. I hope all of you are ready with your English grammar workbook. That is page number 11, worksheet 5. Okay. So let's move on to it. All of you, please get ready with your workbooks. Sit straight. Take your pencils and keep it aside. So we are in worksheet five, helping verbs auxiliaries. So let's have a short recap on the usage of am, is, and are. All of you, please have a look at it. Am, is, and are. First, let's move on to the usage of am. So am is used only with pronoun I, okay? Am is used only with pronoun I. So let's move on to the few examples here. So I am happy. Okay. So am is used only with pronoun I. I am in the park. Okay. I am walking. So am is used only with pronoun I. So I hope am it is very clear to all of you. Okay, now let's move on to is. Usage of is. Is is used with singular, singular nouns. Like singular nouns means what, my dear children? Is, singular nouns means when we're talking about one person. One By looking at the picture, you can know it. So when we're talking person. about a person. Okay, a when we are talking about a person, a place, an animal, or a thing. So, when we are talking about one, we use is. Clear? So, when we are talking about singular nouns, singular nouns, and also with pronoun he, she, it. Okay, we know what is he, she, and it is. He means when we're talking about a boy or a man, she, girl or woman. It means when we're talking about an animal or a thing. So when we're talking about an animal or a thing, we can use the pronoun it. Is that clear? For a boy or a man, we use the pronoun he. For a girl or a woman, we use the pronoun she. So we know what our pronouns are. Pronouns are words used instead of a noun. Okay. So, when we're talking about he, she, it, or with singular nouns like one person, one place, one animal, or one thing, we use is. Clear to all of you? Yes? Yes, yes my dear children. Now, let's move on to a few examples. Excuse yes. me, ma'am. Yes, my dear. Samanya has joined now. Yes, okay. This is a, just a recapping session. Okay, so please... Now, is is used with he, she, it. Is is used with pronoun he, she, it. So I've showed you the picture for you. He, when we're talking about a man or a boy. She, when we're talking about a girl or a woman. It, so when we're talking about an animal or a thing. Okay. So please look at the examples. She is a naughty girl. Minnie is playing in the garden. Ronnie is a pet dog. It is very clever. So is is used with singular. Clear? Now let's move on to the usage of are. Are is used with pronouns you, we, they. Okay? Are is used with pronoun you, we, they. You and we, we use when we're talking about only people. You and we is used. You and we are pronouns. Okay. When we're talking about more than one people. Okay. More than one person. We use the pronoun you and we. They is a plural pronoun which is used for people, animals and things. Okay. There is only one plural pronoun there. So that is they. They means it can be people, animals, or things. But you and we is used only for people. 
So with pronoun you, we, and they, we use helping verb are. So are is used with plural. Okay. Now, all of you, please have a look at this table. This table is very clear to all of you. Are is used with plural nouns. So when we're talking about more than one or many, that is when we're talking about boys, girls, students, grandparents, cats, tables. So when we're talking about more than one, my dear children, we have to use are. Clear? So when we're talking about plural nouns, when we're talking about plural okay. nouns, that is more than one, we use are. And also, when we're talking about the pronouns, that is they, we, and you, we use are. Okay? So all of you, please do look at it. So with one, we use is, and with more than one, if it's plural, we use are. That is the difference. With I, we use am. Now, here are a few examples for you. You are tall. We are friends. Roy and Charles. So there are two people here. Roy and Charles are reading. So when we're talking about more than one, that is many, we use are. Okay. So this is all about the usage of am, is, and are. Now let's move on to the usage of has and have. Is a, so we have already done exercise on am, is, and are in page number 12. Please do turn over to page number 12 and just check whether we have completed the exercise there. All of you, please open to page number 12. Fill in the blanks, exercise one. And Fill in the blanks not. with am, is, and are. Have we completed? Yeah, have we completed? Yeah. Yes, yes, so we have completed. Yeah. We already know the usage of am, is, and are. Go through your notes and please... In the next session, when we are coming, we'll be, I'll be doing a session on uh, a worksheet on am, is, and are, and has, and have. Okay. So we should be thorough with this. So I hope we have completed. Now let's move on to the usage of has and have. So we have completed this exercise, so I'm not moving on to it. Okay. So. Let's move on to the usage of has and have. All of you look at the table. Sorry, the slide which is shown here. All of you look at the slide which is shown here. Put your pencils down. Has, have. They are called as helping verbs. These helping verbs, that is has and have, are used to show possessions. Possessions. What do you mean by possession? Possession means what, my dear children? Possession. What do you mean by the word possession? Possession means what you own. Can you tell me what you own? I have a big house. Okay. I have a long hair. I have a long silky hair. Whatever you have in your hands, that is your possession. Yes. I have a pet dog. That is your position. I have a pink band. Samanvia, you can say I have a pink band. So that is whatever you have, you own. That is called has possession. Is that clear to all of you? I so when we have. has and have is used to show possessions. Possession means what you own. My father has a big car. That is what your father possess. What your father have. Okay, father own. Okay, I have a big house, or you can say, I have color pencils. I have a big teddy bear. Okay, don't you have? Girls can say, I have a toy. I, yes, I have a doll, or you can say, I have a blue box. Dear, I have, a yes, you can show me the blue box and you can tell me that is, I, I have a blue right. box. So, has and have are used to show possessions. Possession means what you own. Okay, Daksha, you can show your band and show to everyone. Come on, tell me that I have an yellow band. Come on, tell me. Yes, come on. Daksha, 
I have a LO band. Okay, Dia, come on, open your mouth, all of you. I have a blue box. Dia, come on, tell me. I Has have and have are both the both the words are used to show possession. Possession means is nothing but children. It is what you own. Okay, you can say I have long hair. Elephant has a long trunk. So what the elephant possesses, what the belongs to elephant. Okay. Similarly, what it belongs to you, we use has and have. So let's move on to the usage. Yes. All of you, please have a look at it. Has and have are used to show possessions. Now let's learn the usage of has and have. Has is used with singular. Okay. Has is used with singular nouns. Singular nouns and also with pronouns. He, she, it. Clear to all of you? So similarly, like the usage of is, has is also is used with singular nouns and also with pronouns he, she, it. Okay. He, she, it. I hope it's clear. Has is used with singular nouns and also with pronouns he, she, it. Now let's move on to the usage of have. Have. Okay, have is used with plurals. Plural means what, my dear children? Come on, tell me. Plural means what? What do you mean by plurals? We, they. Okay, what do you mean by plural? Plural means what? More than two. Yes, more than one, not more than two. It is more than one. For one, we call it as singular. For more than one, we call it as plural. If it is more than one, we have to use have okay so with plural we use have okay all of you please mute your audios so with plurals you can see the picture here more than one so when we are talking about plural nouns okay plural nouns we use have and also with pronouns you we they we use have clear Yes? Okay, children. With plurals, we use the pronoun. We use the helping verb have. With plurals, that is, have is used with plurals. And it is also used with the pronoun you, we, they. And it is also used with I. All of you, please do look at the table, the slide which is shown here. Okay? It is used with they. Similarly, like are we use have with plurals and also with pronouns you we they and also with i okay i have you have we have they have and also with plurals okay when you say i i is an exceptional rule so even with i we have to use have i have all of you please do look at this yes I have. Please do repeat after me. I have. Come on. I have. I have. I you have. have. You have. We have. We have. They have. They have. They have. They have. They have. And also with plurals, we use have. Baby. Okay. Is that clear to all of you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now let's move on to the exercise which is there in your workbook, my dear children. I hope you have understood. All of you, please do take your workbook exercise, which is there in page number 12. All of you, please do open it. Okay. Take your pencils in your hand. Take your pencils in your hand. Yes. I'll start with Zara. Zara, come on, Zara. Do the first question for me. Elephant dash trunks. Elephant yes, has elephant trunks. dash trunks. Yes, come on, read the question once more. Elephant has trunks. Yes, very good. Elephant has trunks. So when you're using has and have children, you have to look at the naming part in a sentence. Naming part means what? 
the always the first part in a sentence is called has the naming part so elephant here in the sentence we are talking about elephant so elephant is a naming part so always look at the naming part so how many elephants are there is it one or more than one zara come on yes, yes how many elephants are there is it one or more than one more than one elephant how many are there one one so for singular we have to use which is it we have to use has or have has has you're right okay so elephant has trunks okay children so always look when you're doing this exercise that is the helping verbs always look at the naming part in a sentence okay okay then now let's move on to the next person rose come on rose read the second question a cat has four legs. Yes, come on, read the question once more. A cat has four legs. Yes, very good. A cat, we are talking about a cat, so we are talking about an animal, so we have to use your has. Always look at the naming part in a sentence. A cat has four legs. Very good. I hope you are doing it. Now let's move on to the next question. I have a pencil. I have color. I have color pencils. Yes. Now let's move on to Daksha. Daksha, come on, Daksha. Yes, Daksha. Yes, do the third question for me. Daksha. Daksha, I, come on, read the question louder. I Ganesh color pencil. It is I. So I've told you it's an exceptional rule. With I, we have to use. Come on, look at the board. Look at the table here, Daksha. With I, whether we have to use has or have. I. I have have okay so with i here we have to use has or have. Have, have have i have color pencils so has and have are used to show possessions so with i we use have i have color pencils is that clear yes yes ma'am yes come on thank you ma'am yes Man, now let's move on to the next person. Let's move on to the next person, my dear. Yes. Yes, Ishan. Ishan Krishna. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Rama, mm. Rama dash mm. a bicycle. Rama has oh. a bicycle. Yes, it is not cycle. It is bicycle. Okay. Ram, Rama dash a bicycle. So we are talking about Rama here. So we have to use has. Very good. Rama has a bicycle. Very good. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. Now, Ansel. Ansel, come on, Ansel. Do the next question for me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, do it. Mr. Manor dash mm. a big mm. car. Mr. Yes. Manor have, have Mr. Manor. has a big car. Come Mr. on, say Manor. it properly. Is it has or have? Has. Has. Why? Mr. Manor has Why we are using has car. there? Ansel, why can't we use have there? Come on, tell me. Singular. Mr. Manon. Yes? Singular. Yes, singular. Very good, Ansel. Singular. We are talking about one person there, only about Mr. Manon. So we have to use has there. Very good, Ansel. 
So, Mr. Manon has a big car. Very good. Yes. Now, let's move on to the next question. Are you all ready? Yes. So, the next question. Dia KP. Come on, Dia. Dia, yes, unmute it. Yes. Come on, do it. Our yes. Louder, dash, please. Uh. Our school dash a big mm. playground. Yes. Come on, tell me the answer. How? No, our school. How many schools are there? Is it one or more than one? One. Ha means what? Our own school. Okay. So it is only one school. Our own school. We are talking about one our school. own. Ours means us. Okay. So our school dash a big playground. So we have to use whether has or have. Has. Has, because we are talking about our own school. We have to use their has. Okay. So, our school has a big playground. Thank you, Mom. Yes. Have all of you finished? Sure. Then I complete. Yes. Who's uh? Please do rename it. Entry gold. Who's that? Please do rename it. Who's that person is? Can we move on to the next question, my dear children? Yes. So I hope you have finished. Now let's move on to the seventh question. Suresh, come on, Suresh. Suresh, Suresh, are you there? Yes, come on, unmute it. Yes, come on, read the seventh question. Mm. A, mm. Pro. a dash, a cow. Come on, read the seventh question. A cow. A cow dash. Mm. 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 A cow dash H O R N S. How do you pronounce the word? Horns. Yes, horns. A cow has, sorry, a cow dash horns. So, which helping verb you have to use there? How? Yes, a cow. We are talking about a cow here. So, yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, we have to use has or have here. How? Ha. A cow. A cow means how many are there? One. One. So with one, but singular, whether we use has or have. Has. Has, yes. I've always told you children, always look at the naming part in a sentence. A cow. So it is one singular. So we have to use your has. A cow has horns. Okay. Is that clear to all of you? A cow has horns. Yes. Now let's move on to the next person. Aradhya. Aradhya, come on, Aradhya. Do the last question. I mm. dash a new mm. ball. Yes, I dash a new ball. So, what do you write there? I has a new ball. No, with I, which is it whether you use has or have there? I. No. I. 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 I have. A I new have. Ball. Yes, I have. So you have to use your have. So I have a new ball. Okay, children. I have a new ball. Is that clear to all of you?
Yes. Have all of you finished this? Completed? Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes if you have completed, let's have a... Yes. All of you, please do look at it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, let me tell you. With the I, which helping verb you will use, my dear children? That is has or have. Come on, tell me the answer. All of you. It is I have. Don't forget. It is I have. Yes, I have color pencils. Is that clear to all of you? I have color pencils. With the I, we use have. Please don't forget. Okay, I have color pencils. Is that clear to all of you? Okay, now again, I dash a new shirt. So what do you use there? I have a new shirt. Yes. I, I dash a new shirt. So what do you use there? Is it has or have? I have. I have. Okay. I have a new shirt. Is that clear to all of you? Now let's move on to the next one. Okay. You. Y O U. You dash a new car. So, so, what do you write here? You have a new car. Very good. You have a new car. Is that clear to all of you? You have a new car. Okay. Now, we dash. We dash a new book. What do you write there? We dash a new book. What do you write there? Is it have or has? Yes, we have a new book. Is that clear to all of you, my dear children? So with I, with the pronoun I, you and we, we have to use have. And also with plurals, plurals such as monkeys. Come on, tell me. M-O-N-K-E-Y-S, monkeys, dash, long tail. So what do you use there? Has or have? Monkeys. So what do you have to use there? We have to use? Have. Monkeys. So it is have. Very good. So I hope you have understood, my dear children, with have is used with plurals, okay? And also with pronoun i you we and they okay is that clear to all of you yes. has is used with come on tell me singular yes has is used with singular has is used with singular okay so let's i'll give you a few examples for you yes okay so now a spider, all of you please do listen. A spider dash. How many legs does a spider have? A spider dash eight legs. Okay. So come on, tell me the answer. A spider, is it has or have? Has. Why means we are talking about a spider here. Always look at the naming part in a sentence. So a spider has eight legs. Okay. Yes. Now, no, no, no. You just listen. A week. Okay. A week dash seven days. So what you write there? Seven days. Yes. A week has. We are talking about a week here. Okay, we are not talking about the seven days. Always look at the naming part in a sentence. So here it tells us about a week. So we have to use has here. A week has seven days. Okay, so. Is that clear to all of you, my dear children? I hope it's clear. Yes. 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 Clear to all of you? Yes. Have all of you finished the exercise which is there in your workbook, my dear children? Yes, 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 yes and the exercise, I wanted to tell you one thing, children, and the exercise, which is there on page number 13, that is exercise three, you have to do it as home assignment. Okay, please go through all the 
uh, sentences in page number 13, that is from A to O, and you have to do it as home assignment, okay? And we'll be discussing the answers in the next Excuse class. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? Can you repeat what you say now? Exercise. All of you, please open to page number 13, my dear children. All of you, take page number 13. Remember, I have to keep Yes, all of you take page number 13. Can you see? Yes, have you taken it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so here in page number 13, there is an exercise for you three. What exercise it is? Fill in the blanks with the correct word from the bracket. Okay, so there are a few questions there from A to O. Okay, so all the sentences, please go through each sentence and you have two brackets, the words are given there. So one example I'll show you. This flower, this flower dash red. Okay, and in the brackets you have R and S. So what you will write there, which is the right answer. The, this flower, is it is or R? It is. is. This flower is red. Okay. So similarly, you have to do the other exercises, that is other sentences, which are there in your workbook. Okay. So we'll be discussing the answers in the next session. Do it as home assignment. It is a complete exercise on the usage of R and is R and has and have. Okay. So that exercise, please do it as home assignment. Okay, ma'am. Okay, children. So I hope the usage of am, is, are, and has, and have is very clear. The next session too, we'll be discussing on the same topic. And we'll be discussing on the exercise, which is there in page number 13. Okay. So I hope you have completed. Have all of you completed, my dear children? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, okay. Prithvi present. Yes, Rafan. Yes. I'm Rami is present. Okay, okay. So many are absent, only 32 participants are there. Yes, only 31. Yes. Okay, children. So it's already it's time up. So let's wind up today's session, my dear children. Please go yeah. through the exercise, which is there in page number 12 and 13. And please do the exercise, which is there in page number 13 as home assignment. Okay, children. So with this, we are going to wind up today's session. Bye-bye, children. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.